Welcome back everybody to today's IT Tuesday and in today's video we are going to be going over um, storage option in Windows and how to clear up your C drive. Um, as I started making this channel again and getting things up and running, I have encountered some trouble with my C drive. I have one, two, three, four, five, six hard drives plugged into my computer at the moment. Two of them I share out to my network so my Mac can see them. Um, but I have one drive that is a 500 gigabyte SSD. Um, it is plugged in through SATA to my motherboard. Um, however, that is my boot drive. And when I built my computer, I figured, oh, 500 gigabytes will be plenty. It's an SSD. It's going to it's going to allow me to install the different applications I need to, like all my Adobe products, 3D modeling apps, um, software plugins, that kind of stuff. Um, it'll allow me to be able to install those to the system normally. However, now that I've started recording and getting some more cache data involved with everything, there is a little bit of a problem that I've been encountering, and that is that I am out of space. <laughs> I ran out of space on my C drive yesterday while I was editing, and I was like, uh oh, that's not good. So we're going to be going over a little bit of that today, um, and we are, will be figuring out what we can do to get that working. Um, I have a few different tools and tips that I like to use um, to try to optimize data on my storage. Um, so I'm going to be going through some of those today, of course, starting off with the basics of how to find your storage and where to go to see that. So let's jump over to the desktop and we can go over that. All right, so we're back here at the desktop and we are going to uh, go over where to get to those settings to be able to see your storage. Um, so a few different places that you can go to do that. First place I like to check when I'm curious to see what my storage is looking like, if I need to do any maintenance on it, is going to be here in File Explorer. So I am hitting the Windows key on my um, keyboard and that's gonna pop up the Windows button or you can click over here in the bottom right hand corner. I am going to click there and we're going to just type in File Explorer. That's the easiest way to be able to get this up and running. Uh, I am going to scroll down here to this PC, and here we're going to see um, all the different drives that I have enabled. Um, so right now um, it is detecting my phone that is plugged in because I am using it as my webcam still because I cannot get my cam link working. Oh God, it'll help me out. <laughs> um, uh, we have my local C drive, which you can see is I have cleared out some data on here because it wasn't letting me record. Um, so I needed to clear some data out to be able to get this working. Um, so we have 85 gigabytes free there. My first storage drive, which is um, my D drive, which I have two gigs on. My working disk is an NVMe SSD. Um, that is one of the Corsair MP6300s or something like that. It's a one terabyte, um, four gigabytes read and write data. Um, as is my um, games drive, my G drive here is another one of the Samsung Evo um, R super mega drives. Um, I'll put some links in the descriptions for those down below. Um, then I have a few more HDDs, which are all for um, additional storage and my footage. Then over here I have my um, external hard drive for Adventures in Gaming, which is just basically my overflow storage. So when I'm done with stuff on the footage drive, it gets moved over to the Adventures in Gaming storage. Um, especially now it looks like that this is about half full after starting recording a bunch. So I wanna make sure I start moving things over there. Um, but you can see here that I have the general storage amounts across all, the, all, all of my drives. Um, and we're going to see how we can clear that up a little bit. So if you're looking to get into your settings menu, the easiest way again to do that is to click over here in the bottom left hand corner. We're gonna hit the start menu. And on Windows 11, there's this nice option here um, that gives you the settings button uh, listed here right in the middle um, as a pin tab. Um, but you can always just, once you have the Windows tab open, you can always just start typing settings and it will pull that menu right up. Now what we're looking for here on Windows 11, um, the, men the menus are slightly different. They actually have a nice storage button right here in the middle, um, which is what we're gonna be using here. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> we're gonna be using this button here. And on Windows 10, you just have to go to storage. If you start typing storage, um, or if you go to the search, um, there are some options to be able to get to set storage from there. 
Um, so now you can see here that right now it is checking my local disk, which is the Windows drive, um, the drive that Windows is installed on. That's the one that's going to be primarily searching for first. Um, and when you start looking at this here, it's going to tell you what the breakdown is of what is um, filling data up on your computer. So right now I have 282 gigabytes full of apps and features. Um, so if we come in here, you guys will see this is going to be all of the drivers. This is going to be applications, all my Adobe products. Um, so if I just kind of do a little scroll through here, you can see that this is Amnesia is installed on here. Among Us is installed on here. I'm going to have to do some cleaning up on here. Um, so yeah, it, it's all this data is stored onto the C drive. Um, the C drive also contains any documents or program file data that isn't routed to a different drive. Um, that kind of data is going to get stored in documents as well as in program um, programs times 86. So if we come over here, um, Program files and program files times 86 is going to store a lot of that data um, as well as your documents folder, which is um, here. Um, oh, that's OneDrive documents. Oops, I need regular documents. So you can see here that all of my um, documents that for even things that are stored on other drives are still going to store here in the document section on Windows. So that might be something that you might have to go through too to clear some data out. Now, if you know where on your computer if you know where on your computer you're, you know that there is a lot of storage or a lot of apps installed, you can just start uninstalling things. Um, but if you don't quite know where the data that you're looking to remove is, then you're going to want to um, use this menu here that I have open to try to narrow down what you can install, uninstall and reinstall. Um, so for an example, let's go into apps and features here again, and we're going to pull up, um, it apparently is thinking, oh, well, this is searching by all drives. So one of the things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to narrow this down to the drive that you're looking for. So in my case, I have a lot of different hard drives installed on here. So I'm going to narrow this in just to the C drive so we can see um, what apps are taking up the most data. I'm also going to sort this by size. So you'll see here that after clearing out some data last night, the biggest application that I have is Substance Painter, um, and that is keeping i'm not getting rid of any of that right now um but we can kind of scroll through here and see if there's anything that i can remove i did a lot of this last night um so there's probably not much that i can remove anymore oh here's one so there's a duplicate copy there's a few copies of blender on here that i use um so blender uh it it's installation files um, all route to the same folder, but it doesn't remove the previous versions just for um, clarity reasons. Um, if you want to like back up or if there's features that aren't implemented in the newest version, but usually they're pretty good about stacking things up. Um, but in this case, I can go ahead and remove one of those. So I'm going to just go ahead and uninstall the Blender 2.82 version here. Um, and this is gonna be one of the one, this is gonna be the first way that you can go to uninstall things. So in apps and features, if you're in your storage section, um, you can find the app that you want to remove and you're going to go ahead and right, uh, you're gonna left click on these three dots here and then you're going to go ahead and hit uninstall. And then this is going to use the uninstaller that is brought in with the application to be able to remove the app. So we're gonna go ahead and hit uninstall. This one I think is installed with an MSI file. So this one is a Windows installer file um, that it is using to remove. Um, it then will ask you to um, allow this app to make changes to your device. We're gonna go ahead and say yes. And we just gotta wait for it to uninstall. You can already see it removed it from the menu. Five, four, three, two, one. Or not. One of the big things in IT is watching that green bar go by. Nothing better. Anyway, <laughs> so there's another thing I wanted to remove off of here too, bridge. So we can just go ahead and uninstall this. We're gonna say yes. And so this one is, it's uninstall files. So this one's asking if you wanna uninstall bridge, we're gonna say okay. And some of them, you won't see anything happen with it. It's just gonna remove it from the menu. And then you can come back over here to apps. Um, we can go back here a little bit. I'm just hitting this back arrow up here in the top left-hand corner of the settings menu to go back to the previous folders that I was in. Oops, went one too far. 
And you'll see here that it cleared out a little bit of data. Now, like I said, I have a lot of stuff on here, so there's not a lot of wiggle room for me to show you guys how that works in this menu particularly. Um, but if we go back here into apps and features, it's going to bring that menu back up for us to filter back around um, and get this back sorted to the C drive. Let's see if there's anything else we can move off of here. Oh, well, let me see. I'm going to show you another way. So the next way I'm going to show you is through... Um, the control panel through apps and features, which is actually the same menu, but it may be a little bit more familiar for you though, those of you who use uh, older versions of Windows, like Windows 8 or Windows 10. Um, this, this menu is still working very well. I use it every day at work. Um, so we're gonna start back here on the desktop. And if you go over back to the start menu, and we're just gonna open up control panel and I'm gonna bring this over to my first screen here. And if you're looking at mine, um, this is probably how you're going to be seeing it is going to be under category. Um, and it's going to be a just a rundown of the basics of control panel. So you don't get into too much stuff, but what we're looking for here is this programs features here. So we're gonna go ahead and click programs. And then we're gonna go into programs and features. And this menu is going to look very familiar for most of you guys. Um, to be able to um, remove and add program. So we, this is very similar to the previous menu where you're in. We can filter by name, you filter by publisher, um, you can filter by size. Um, now, the thing with this menu though is, is it's not searching or it is searching by every drive that you have installed. So you can't filter it as easily in this menu as you could in the one uh, through the settings menu. So if you're looking for a particular drive, I would recommend using the other system. Um, where this one allows you just to kind of go through and go, okay, I saw that I had um, something that I wanted to remove off of here. So let's see if I can uh, find that file again. Magic Arena, okay. So we're gonna remove, we're gonna uninstall Magic Arena off of this computer. Um, so what, when you wanna go here, you can either hit uninstall or I like to right click and uninstall just cause it allows me to have more control over it. Um, and we're gonna say yes. And then it's gonna run the Windows installer here to be able to get rid of that again. Oh, actually, there's another Maya file that I need to get out of here as well. This is basically my way to be able to clear out data on my computer without you guys uh, having to do it with me. Because if I have to watch the screen bar by myself, I might as well have you guys too. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and uninstall and change this. This is the Maya to Arnold plugin. I don't need this anymore because I uninstalled all of my Autodesk apps. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Uh, there's actually another one here that is vault. So we're gonna see if we can do that on our third method, which I'm going to recommend. Now, this third method is something that I use at work, um, but it is a little bit more advanced only because it does look for registry files to try to clear those out as well. Um, the application is called Revo Uninstaller. Um, they have a pro version, but the free version works just as well if you're just doing basic uh, uninstalling and clearing of data out. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead back to my Windows button and I'm going to look up Revo. Now that we're back here, um, this is in Revo. This is the app that I was just opening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip back over here. I'm sorting by name because I know which one I want to uninstall. Actually, there's another one here. There's a few here that I haven't gotten rid of yet. Um, but the one that in particular that I'm looking for that I want to install is this Autodesk Vault Basic Client. Um, so this program does a heavy search for those extra files and extra programs that may be just stuck in the background here. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to right click on this one and say uninstall. Um, listed programs are installed under the same file location. So this one actually searches under multiple file locations as well. Um, and it narrows in, <clears throat> excuse me, it narrows in exactly where those files are going to be. So what we're going to do is I'm going to say yes. And this one also makes a system or a store point just in case if you remove something that you're not supposed to. Um, I'm actually going to uncheck that for this just for the sake of the video. Um, and then this actually is going to run the program's uninstaller to be able to get rid of this. So we're gonna say uninstall, uninstall. A lot of these Autodesk apps I had installed from when I was at school and they just take up a lot of storage data. I think when I was clearing things out yesterday, I had a file in my uh, file explorer and documents that was 24 gigs of just Autodesk cache data that I just couldn't get rid of. Um, so I just decided to just get rid of all the apps since I primarily use Blender right now and no one's paying me enough to be able to install and use the Autodesk apps. Um, I'm just gonna remove them for a little while. <laughs> 
The, the next part about Revo is, like I said, it actually looks for those extra registry files and extra files on Windows that may be related to this. So I'm going to do a scan for those. All right, so you can see here that it found a bunch of extra files here in the client. So I'm just gonna say select all and delete those and we're gonna say yes. And then that's gonna remove those off of the C drive. Um, and that's basically it. Those are the three, those are the three main ways that I like to um, remove data from my Windows computer. So that's how I like to remove apps and features off my computer. First step, going to settings, then storage, then remove add and remove programs, or going to control panel, then going to add and remove programs through programs and features or using the Revo uninstaller, which is my preferred method right now, just since I'm more familiar with it by using it with work. Um, I hope that was able to help you guys. And if you guys have any other questions or things about how to optimize storage on your computer, there are a lot of tools out there um, and a lot of different features to be able to do that with. Um, Windows has a lot of really good built-in features though to be able to help with that too. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below when you're going to subscribe to Faceboam Studio and to check us out for next week's IT Tuesday, as well as the further videos that happen on this channel. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed it today and I just hope that I was able to save you guys the pain of a face foam from filling up your C drive like I did while working on these videos this week. So everybody keep creating, save the pain, and I'll see you guys on the next video.